Welcome everyone, Kuno the Blue, I'm back. <laughs> That's the episode name. Um, I hope all of you are doing well, enjoying your weekend. Previous videos, I kind of, you know, laid the groundwork, uh, letting you all know the Q&A was this weekend. Well, I'm here. Um, <laughs> uh, growing a beard, you know, for these nine months that I've been in hibernation, um, I'm attempting a beard. It's the first attempt. I don't know if it's going to go well, but it needs to happen. So without further ado, team, I have one note card. There's a lot of questions though. Don't worry. I mean, from the 300 comments that there were, I'd say about a hundred of them were questions. Half of those were already asked. Um, that's just the way it is. So don't forget to comment. Um, I'm, I'm going to be answering some serious questions and some funny ones, obviously. If my cat, by the way, that's like a perch that's added. Uh, <coughs> um, I can't really point. But if you see, that's Sophie. She uh, She's a cat we rescued a year ago. Um, so if she just jumps up there or claws or, you know, or anything like that, don't be alarmed. Um, she's friendly. I don't know where she is right now, but she's, she's somewhere. Let's start, shall we? First question comes from Tropical Snowstorm. I don't know how that's possible, but he asks, Wizard101, is it growing or dying? Is it in, on an incline or decline? This is like one of the hottest questions I think that will ever be uh, in the game. Um, the one main point right as of now without uh, the next world coming out, it's always going to be in a decline. Um, you know, I mean, it's like whenever new content does arise, uh, sub numbers and everything else increases, game feels more lively without a doubt but i mean is it dying in the sense that they're the the way that the end game is in re terms of pvp is messed up or you know that kind of thing now is it definitely losing subs um i think so i really don't know but i'd have to say that right now it is in a decline um you know i hope certain things do change around you know it's there definitely needs to be a overhaul of, I mean, we, there's, there's, a, there's a lot of problems with a lot of games. For Wiz, um, you know, PvP, that's one of the major things. You know, meshing all of the updates together and the end result being where it is right now. Jewels, spells, overpowered, you know, all of that jazz and... I really have no answers of how to fix it other than that. Give it time. Um, I'm hopeful. Uh, hopefully that answers your question. Assuming a lot of people are probably going to ask that question if I didn't actually answer it. I don't know if that's a good answer. There's really no answer for that other than the fact that, yeah, the game is on a decline as of right now. Um, but, I mean, it's it's been on decline for a while, but then also increases at times as well. I don't know. That That's... I don't know. It's a touchy subject too. Anyway, that's the first question. Kind of an answer. Number two comes from Fuzzy Up. And then <laughs> it's more of a statement. See, that's the kind of funny thing. It's like questions and statements. And he says, and so my last Q&A, um, he asked, you look high. What are you smoking? Nothing. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I probably just woke up on that last one. Um, that was, a, <laughs> that was almost a year ago. Um, and if I'm smoking anything, it's Grendel weed, obviously in game. Um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, next question comes from Proton with two ends. And he asks, when are they going to implement gear trading? And what do you think about it? Uh, it's one of those things that if they ever actually practically do that, it's going to be a sub only thing. You know, it's definitely, I mean, it kind of falls under the same category of member benefits. Um, I really don't know if they ever will. My thoughts on gear trading. Um, I think that for me, 
And it's kind of like specific re like requirements in the fact that, I mean, I don't know what would suit when. Gear trading as a whole would be able to be available for Wizards level 1 through whatever the max is at the time. I don't know what gear is you should be able to trade, if not all, to other people. And I think, honestly, all would have to be the way, especially with other MMOs I've played, where you can trade gear, different loot drops, all that jazz. If it would start in one place, it probably would be dungeons, uh, gear trading, which pieces you got. You could probably have, like, I don't know if there's, like, a sigil, and you could just place the items and they can take them. Or it's just an option on the, uh, the little get them. When you click people and uh, you just said, you know, gear trade or trade gear, or trade tra trade item, item trade, I don't know, something like that. That would probably be the start of it. Now, I don't think I've, have I answered the fact that I, I want it. I mean, that that's something that I want. Um, so, yeah, that's my standpoint on gear trading. Next question comes from I'm Silly, spelled S-I-L-L-E-E, -E, uh, asks, are we ever going to fight Ambrose? Um, I think I've answered this before, but then again, uh, <laughs> these Q&A episodes are spotty at best. Apologize, but are we ever going to fight Ambrose? Um, I don't think so. Only in that if we actually ever fight Ambrose, it's not going to be actually Ambrose. It's going to be like a manipulated version of... Um, maybe his, maybe a dark version of Ambrose in that, like, shadow, get him. Um, do I want to fight Ambrose? It'd be kind of a twist of events because you go back from Wizard City all the way to whatever the, uh, well, whatever the final, 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 final world will be. I don't really know if I would want to. Do I think we will? Once again, I don't think so. Um, but anything's possible. We have yet to see a very major character uh, in that of Ambrose's status uh, actually um, be a person to fight. I mean, we've seen other people um, kind of fight, but I don't know. I just realized there's like a little hair thing. You see that, team? By the way, I need a haircut. This beard is a thing, but this hair needs to go. Anyway, just my two cents. I'm also wearing a hoodie because the day I'm recording this, it's actually cold out, which the weather in this state is completely weird. It's like hailing one day. It's like 90 degrees and I'm dying another day. And then today where it's just windy and it's been raining a lot too, but that's good as well. Anyway, next question comes from Fallon Rain. Uh, here she asks, what mic and recording software do you use? Oh, the big question. Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure, I don't know if I have this in my about page yet. I use Fraps, by the way, to record. Um, and then I use Sony Vegas 13 to render my videos. And I use Photoshop for my thumbnails. Albeit if they're actually good thumbnails or not, well, you know what? They're thumbnails, aren't they? Uh, so that's what I use. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. Next, I mean, we have three more questions, team. Sorry, there's not ten. Next one. Ashley, straight up, just Ashley, asks, What is your favorite movie? And I gave this a lot of thought. Um, Interstellar is one of those where I still get goosebumps when I rewatch it. And it's kind of hard to say, like, you just have one favorite. I just realized I just, like, snapped my neck. <laughs> uh, Interstellar is one of those where, for me, being a science and, well, geek, of course, but I don't know. There's something about, like, the grand picture about that movie as us... Uh, as humans, you know, the fact that, I mean, I don't want to spoil it for those who haven't seen it, but let's be honest, it's been out for a while. So spoiler, boo, boo, spoiler. Oh, <laughs> you know, um, when it comes down to it, when he goes through the inner dimensions of everything, 
you know, for me, I still get goosebumps in that I think certain things like that are plausible. I get goosebumps in the fact, and I don't know if it's actually true or not, but when you go through different parts and farther and farther away from Earth, you age way slower and then everybody else gets really old and like time is like time's a weird concept for me and you know <laughs> we're starting to get some hypotheticals i warn you um kind of brings it my own question i've developed for myself do i believe in the concept of time um no <laughs> <laughs> you're like whoa blue what's going on i just yeah well it, you know time is one of those that i think we've created and it's just like a weird concept that even though it exists i don't know if it's actually perfect if that if that makes more sense i don't know if it's a perfect model for defining the entire universe as time even though you know there's probably proof i just in my own mind i don't understand the fact how anyway I could, go, <laughs> I could go on for a while. Um, once again, don't believe me. It's just one of my weird things. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. We're going to move away from that one, from the favorite movie question. Thank you. Uh, next question, Andrew Garcia. If you were stranded on an island in the middle of the ocean with nothing but three items, what items would you choose? Now, I didn't want to overthink this question beforehand. I actually wanted to answer it on the spot. I normally do that with a lot of the questions, except for a couple. And what items would I choose? I would choose... Well, first off... First off, I would bring... Um, <laughs> it's kind of like cliche, but... Well, actually, it's kind of new age cliche. But I would bring one of those, like water get them goods where like you can suck up the water and it just like purifies everything uh for you it's like a straw or something like that i i, uh, I don't know it's 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 something like that i think it's called life straw i i have no clue but i've heard about that where you can just like drink from a stream out in nature and like all of the microbes and everything else are like filtered and you just get pure water which i think is really cool so that's one thing that i would bring Two more, because, I mean, in the middle of the ocean, see, and that's the thing, at that time, would I actually be able to drink the ocean water? Is it that good? Probably not. So, I'm in trouble anyway. But, <laughs> number two, uh, I would bring a, um, see, if I was stranded, if nothing else, but, oh, if, if I was nothing else with three items, what items would you choose with three items? Well, Am I reading this question right? If you were stranded on an island in the middle of the ocean with nothing but three items, what would you choose? See, the thing is, if I was on the island, I mean, how would I have these things? Anyway, hypothetical. I think I know where this question's going. I think I was on the right track. Uh, so anyway, going back to that life straw, that's one. Um, number two, I would bring a sleeping bag um, because I'm not about that life of sleeping on rocks. Um, hopefully this island has a jungle and or trees because I'm I'm sleeping in the trees. And then number three would be a uh what else would I bring? You know, honestly, and it's kind of funny too, where it's just like, well, you need a weapon if that if there's like animals or anything else that live here, because you know, let's be honest, I gotta eat. I, I am not a vegetarian. This body is not built by veggies. It's built by pizza. Uh, well, it's kind of funny because we're going into that question next. But, you know, I would bring a weapon of some sort. What exact weapon? I mean, if you're going to kill fish as well, maybe there's some mammals on the land. I mean, you can't go wrong with um, a spear. You can't. Let's. I, I mean, something like that. Some type of weapon like that. I just realized it made this really complex. I don't even know if I just answered that question at all, but we did it anyway. Last question of the q and I'm back video uh, comes from Mr. Wizard 101 Pirate 101. Um, I like your name. Asks, pizza or pasta? Why not both? Anyway, team, that will conclude today's 
Q&A video. I can't promise when the next Q&A will be. The last one was nine months ago. And I think I promised it sometime. And, you know, honestly, I think these are just those kind of videos that just flow, go with the flow. Um, so, yeah, team, I'll do it for me today. I hope you enjoy your weekend. Um, don't forget to leave comments down below for the next Q&A. On that team, take care, and I'll see you all next time.